Hey guys and welcome back to Cyberpunk. We have a lovely new menu screen as well after our encounter with Brigitte, Alt and Johnny. I am looking forward to this next episode very much so let's get started. So our next main mission that we're going to do is called Ghost Town and this has been sitting there waiting for so long because I wanted to complete the other storyline first and I'm really glad I did because now I know a little bit more about Rogue and this mission is all about Rogue so we have to find her here at the afterlife what now? Oh, back up. Oh, that, open, that guy in the background he just as a, at a as a glance he reminds me of Jackie we were here with with Jackie a while ago I haven't actually set foot back in the afterlife how's things <sighs> Oh, this just reminds me of Jackie. Oh, the bartender, her name's Claire, isn't it? Hey, V. Yes. Claire, Hi. Right? You come to talk about my offer? Oh, the street races. She actually called me and invited me to do some street races, but I haven't done them, to be honest. Actually, drop by for some minutes. No worries. Swing by my garage when you get a minute? Sure. No. See you there. <laughs> I gotta say, I'm not sure about the street races in this. Um, I'll see. Oh! I know Tiny Mike. I did, um, like a side gig. Hang on, what's. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I did a side gig with him, but it, it's kind of glitched right now, as you can see. But we'll just ignore that. How's the arm holding up? Ah, oh, V, such a tender soul you are. <laughs> Mine, tiny. I'm serious. <laughs> well, after paying you and Regina your due, I still had Eddie's in the bank for this man. So yeah, I'd say the arm's fine. Awesome. Ever need help with something? Just give me a holler. Let's not get too cocky, all right? <laughs> you did Regina and I both a favor. It's not like we're about to forget that anytime soon. Life of a Merc's got its ups and downs. Yep. Next time it'll be me <laughs> pulling you out of some colossus fuck up. Jeez. So long as I got the Eddies on. Am I right? <sighs> <laughs> Ain't wrong. What happens if I sit down? I'm just gonna sit. I'm just sitting on top of somebody. I'll have a drink sure, with him. But uh tongue's feeling a bit stiff. Toss one back first. <laughs> with you anytime. Gosh. I like this guy. He was nice in my side gig, but that is just like Gotta love it. Alright, see you. Sorry for sitting on you, lady. Hopefully you don't mind. <laughs> Bye, Mike. It's good to see you again, buddy. All right, let's. No. This trouble, the net around me, you won't. You know it. I lost everything. Let me be you. plain again. Solve your own problems. Clean up you your own shit. Whoa. Go fuck yourself. Who's that? Be careful who you bargain with. Panem. Hey, interested in some more? Panem Palmer. And, and... Oh, I can't scan her. That's got to be Rogue. Ooh. Rogue? Wanted to talk. It's okay. <sighs> How old? How old is she now? I'm so curious. Hmm. Not here. Not there. Who are you? Name's V. And what is it you want, V? All these years, it's really her. Mm -hmm. Fucking bro, just kicking it back on a couch at the afterlife. Yeah, it Don't is. Don't mess with her. She's got MRI. See right through. Give her the truth. Yeah. 
I will. The girl. What was her gripe? Why didn't you ask her? Might still be around, <laughs> sniveling in a corner. <laughs> That's cute. Need your services. Got to track a guy down. Mm-hmm. Anders Hellman. Hotshot engineer, worked for Arasaka. Mm -hmm. Millisec. Anders Hellman. Pinpoint him for me? Whoa. Thanks. Jumping too soon. First, my help's got a price. Second and third, Dexter Deshawn, Jackie Wells, Tipa. Multiple bells ringing, V. Mm -hmm. Left a lot of bodies behind. Death walks in your wake. It does. Chalk that up to bad luck? Mm. There's the bitch I know. Ask her about Sokka Tower. How they shot me up right in front of her. Yeah. They knew the risks. All sorts of shit happens. To all sorts of people. Even to the best. To you too, Rogue. Arasaka Tower. Remember? Who'd you lose back then? Johnny something? Ah. You came prepped. Of course. We sure did. Anyways, feelings be damned, I've always said. This is pure biz. You need my help, so get those eddies ready. I got a lot of eddies. Oh, 15,000? She's cheap. <laughs> Should be enough. Mm-hmm. Come back tomorrow. We'll talk. Okay. Wait until Rogue is ready. All right. Well, I guess we're leaving then. I thought we'd be doing that now. That's so interesting to see her. Look, because I'm a nosy person, I want to look at her. She does seem to be older but like she's aged well i have to say they have some pretty good stuff there in hey, the future in some work? what's it about dennis what? a business opportunity cargo transport get from a to b quick and quiet interested um sure i'll do it but i won't <laughs> do it in this recording it's simple you go to the Kabuki waterfront, collect the package, give me a call, then I tell you how to deliver it. Very straightforward. Okay. Mm -hmm. Everything except my pay. <laughs> yes. Don't worry, there's a bonus in it for you. Imported and duty free. Awesome. Duty free and detail free. Yes. Yes, but altogether fair. It's a simple job, generously compensated. Do you accept? Oh, God. I don't know. Sure. Yeah, sure, I'm in. Good. I knew we'd find acceptable terms. <laughs> what terms? Head to the Kabuki waterfront, then search for a fridge with the words, no future. All right. I'll keep that in mind. Once you locate it, collect what you find inside, then call me for further instructions. It's probably something weird. Till then, I guess. If I am sort of down in that area, then we'll do it. Um, oh, wait until Rogue is ready. Do we just wait on the seat then? All right, I've had a quick look around. I couldn't see that lady, but to be honest, I don't really know what she even really looks like. So, we'll just sit. We'll just sit for Rogue to be ready. How long are we sat here for? Sometime later. Oh, we can, oh, okay. Tiny Mike's still there. With his, with his mate, continue conversation. Back to our chat. I've got nothing to talk well, about. Look who came crawling back. You ready to finish the convo? I finished. Hey, hey, come here, let's talk. I finished it though, look. I don't have anything left to talk to him about. See? Unless there's some other dialogue that I haven't found yet. Here, Here to see go. Rogue, expecting me. We're back. Hey, Rogue, I'm back. What about Hellman? Two, please. Make some room. <laughs> yeah, move over. Sit down. Hope you found him. <laughs> Don't see that often. Determination like yours. Must really need this guy. Matter sure of do. life and death. <laughs> Haven't heard that for a while either. Thank you. I like Claire. She's nice. Go ahead. Enjoy. Um, sure. To your health. To yours, kid. <laughs> Gonna need it. 
<laughs> Look at Johnny just staring at her. Thanks, Nix. Queen of the afterlife. Who would have thunk? Yep. Got a shard for you. Intel. Interesting stuff. Okay. Think she'll help? The rogue I remember was one cold ass bitch. Mm. But she usually went with her gut. Mm. Something tells me she thinks you check out. Yep. <laughs> Let's see what you got. Your Hellman's not on any payroll, not officially anyway. But he does pop up in GNT's confidential stacks. It's a Kang Tao subsidiary, Chinese Corp. Kang Tao's been using them as a fig leaf for years. They're masked for more sensitive operations. All that clear? Yeah, sure. Probably keeping him hidden from Arasaka. Must have worked on a top secret project. Mm-hmm. Hidden from Arasaka or any other megacorp that wants what he knows. Mm. Decrypted map of upcoming Kang Tao convoy routes. Okay. Think Hellman might be in one of them? Thing is, which one? Take a look at the specs on this one. A lone AV, no ground support, no linked cargo manifests either. Weird. Sure, Kang Tao sometimes transports stuff unregistered if they want to push it under the table. But catch the load on this AV. Already approved in the system, but too low. So definitely no cargo on board. Okay. Uh. But there's a passenger list. Kang Tao security detail plus VIP. one VIP. Transfer from Chan T. Okay. Our boy Hellman. That was the good news. Mm -hmm. there it is. <laughs> What's the bad news? Data's all confidential. You just snap your fingers and it falls in your lap. <laughs> I know where to look, and I know whose head to put in a vice. Mm -hmm. Also, hate wasting time. Especially answering stupid questions. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so what's the bad news? Bad news is the extraction site. Look, Night City airspace. All this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No way to jack the transport without the NCPD picking up on it. And here, we're too close to Kang Tao. We even give that AV a dirty look. Their backup hustle will be on us. Yeah. But right here's Jackson Plains. Narrow corridor, oh. just outside the city, and just out of Kang Tao's reach. Guess okay. It's your lucky day. A dead zone. <laughs> I'll grab him there. Hopefully. Gonna need a native to the area. Someone who'll set up the op, cobble together the gear. AV, like, that's a hard nut to crack. Even tracking that AV will be a bitch. Familiar with the type. Saw legacy models flying around during the war. They're mammoth, but they're quick. Plus, they pack next-gen defenses. Can't take pot shots at it, not even with serious firepower. Just won't work. It's not about firepower. There are ways, and people who know them, or who can at least improvise on a theme. So a native. Know any hick mercs? Just one. Pan Am Palmer. Pan Am. She can't count on her clan anymore, but she's a true nomad. She knows those lands. And she will help you. <laughs> Won't have a choice. Won't have a choice. Does not sound enticing. Not for her, not for me. <laughs> enticing comes at a price you can't possibly afford. Right. Can't possibly afford to blow this chance at Navin Hellman. Mm. Your operation, your call. Got a bad feeling, P. Yes, I do too. Like, they were fighting before, so... Strange. The nomads give the city and city folk a wide berth. Varies by clan. By the connections they have, the depth of shit they're in. <laughs> but you're right. Aldecaldos are rarely willing to do biz with the city. Pan Am's got a different take? Yep, on everything, it seems. Okay. Why is Pan Am gotta help me? I sense a catch. Pretty big one. Occasionally, mm. Pan Am moves merch for me. Last job? Well, wasn't a good day for her. Right, she okay. ran into a hitch. Complete bust, actually. Lost the goods and her ride. Pan Am will do anything to get the load back. Means her dignity. I know her. Okay. Okay. Guess I can try to help her, but if we don't know where to look, I mean... We do. I do. Gonna try and play me like Pan Am? I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. Fine, let me hear what you know. Rocky Ridge, ghost town just outside Night City. Pan Am knows where. Rocky Ridge. You'll go there, get the merch back. Wheels too. Naturally, 
You'll call her first. <laughs> Sending you her deeds. Thank you. Uh, oh, shut up, Let's John. Get out of here. <laughs> All clear. Thanks. Good luck. I'll need it. That's so cool. I love talking to Rogue. I. Oh, there she is. I can finally scan her. Amazing. That's really cool. So we just need to call Pan Am. Hey, hey, come here. Let's stop. How about let's not? I've already talked to you. <laughs> Get you anything? No, that's all right, lovely. I'm. <gasps> Want to memorialize a friend, Jackie? She of mine earned a spot on the menu. <gasps> a chulo bowl with the bun? Oh. Yeah, I'm sorry to hear. Remember his drink? The recipe? Vodka on the rocks, lime juice, and ginger beer. Oh. Splash of love. Yeah. That's right. In the drink's name. A Jackie Wells. A Jackie Wells. Right. Well, the first Jackie Wells is on me. Thanks, Claire. No problem. Just holler if you need anything. Can I... Can it, I... Definitely. Go for get a, a Jackie Wells. Tough day. Like any other. <laughs> so, what'll it be? A Jackie Wells. Where? <gasps> there. Oh. Oh. Yes. I thought it was free, though. It's cost me 150 <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Thank you. She said it was free. I got ripped off. <coughs> oh, hang on, what? Oh, not this again. Johnny! What are you doing to me? Damn. Why does this happen? Jeez. Hang on, what? That was weird. So we're getting a lot of relic malfunctions, like a lot. V is coughing. I think that just signifies not Johnny's interference, but that V is on the downward slope. I don't think she's doing well. Uh, but we need to call Pen Am. Hello? Hi. <laughs> hey, Pen Am. Got your number from Rogue. Name's V. Great. Where's that old warbers want to kick me now? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> this thing between you and Rogue couldn't care less. Got a job for you. <laughs> Good. But I'm overextended at the moment. Oh. With the merch in your car? Getting him back? I can help with that. Yeah, we can. The rail freight yard on Benita Street. The one hugging the city line. We'll meet there. Okay. See ya. <laughs> All right, so we'll do that so where actually where is that 2.7 kilometers um you know what normally i would just get um fast travel where's my bike but i'm going to just ride a bike in case anything comes up in the meantime like any phone calls or anything like that so I think I'll just ride Jackie's bike there. And here we go, look, we have a call. Hey, Judy. How you feeling? Shitty, but something came to me. Yeah? Gotta give yourself time to grieve, Judy. Experience all its stages. Feel them. Let them play out. Shock, anger, depression. I'd say I'm on anger. Mm. Gotta stay here for a while, too. I can work with anger. Mm. So what did you come up with? The mocks died. Lizzie's bar used to be a joy house. Tiger Claws killed one girl too many, so people took matters into their own hands. Belongs to us now. Clouds could stand to get the same makeover. What? I'm familiar with the story. Things did not go that smoothly. I didn't say they did. Didn't say they would. But Evie thought Clouds would be safe. You saw how far that got her. How she ended. Yeah. V. 
I can't stand by and let things go on like this. Okay. <laughs> sure you've thought this through, Judy? Carefully? I haven't thought it through at all. <laughs> right. All I know is the mocks didn't turn things around by sitting on their tanned and toned asses doing nothing. Mm. Got the mocks to agree to take over Clouds? No, I'm trying to get you. <laughs> know someone at Clouds will take our side. Will all you help? Right. Um... Yeah. Fine. <laughs> Got me on board. Oh, yes. <laughs> okay, so... What's the plan? First up, we gotta talk to Michael Maeda. If oh she's God. not with us, might as well throw our hands up in the air. Um, Michael, Michael. Michael Maeda? Who is she, exactly? Girl who unofficially runs clouds. Good at it, too. What's she do officially? She's a doll, oh. so she's a nobody. Okay. Sure Michael's gonna wanna join forces? If I was sure, I'd be on the hollow to her and we wouldn't be having this conversation. <laughs> Let me rephrase. Any chance she'll slap us around and then shove us out her mega tower window? <laughs> of course, sure. Guess I can work with that. <laughs> um, okay, I guess we're... We're gonna go with Judy now and leave Panem hanging a bit. How well do you know this, Michael? Too well. When are we doing this? Early morning. Clouds will be closed. Hardly a soul lurking at that time. Okay. How early? Before eight. I'll be by the entrance. Nah, no, scratch that. The balcony above clouds. We'll sneak in. No one needs to know we're there. On the balcony. Got it. All right. Um. What do we do? <laughs> Should we do that? Or what? What, 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 what? Meet Judy on Cloud's Terrace in early morning. Look, okay. Let's do that then. Let's do that. So we'll head down there. I'm glad that I didn't just fast travel to meet Pan Am because I would have missed out on um, doing this because I would have been down there and in with that story so i think we'll just go ahead and do this i mean why not sometimes oh not everything goes as planned <gasps> i'm sorry i'm so sorry i'm so sorry i think i just need to get off the bike now look okay yeah i'm getting off getting off we don't need to be <laughs> doing that anymore. <laughs> that poor lady. Is that her there? I don't know. Are you okay, miss? She seems fine. Okay, let's go and meet Judy on Clouds' terrace in early morning. So in that case, we may have to just skip some time, I think. Okay, so I have skipped some time. Um, I think it's like, uh, it's 4.30, so this should be around the right time, I think. I've no idea where we're meant to be going. Hang on, what was that? Thank you. There's some goodies. Some little goodies. Ooh. This feels very sneaky. Wait. Wait. Alright. Wait until early morning. So it's about 4.30 now. It still seems dark. Sometime later. Oh! Let's hey. fly. Thanks for showing. Hi. Sure. Talking with Michael is like a game of 3D chess. Don't let her derail you. All right. You seem a bundle of nerves. I have a mind to kill the bastards with my bare hands. Yeah, after so, what yeah. did. You could say I'm a teensy bit nervous. Mm-hmm. Some deeds about her could be useful. 
when I talk to her, don't you think? <laughs> no. Leave the talking oh. to me. Okay. Okay, um... How do you aim to get her over to our side? By telling the truth. About Evelyn. What happened and why. Yeah. Think that'll cut it? No. Have to improvise from there. Okay. So, in brief, I'm just here as your hustle, right? <laughs> Never said that. I just know the woman better. Okay, all right, calm down. I'm ready. Let's go. Let's go. All right, we'll just let Duty do all the I'll talking. Mm hmm. You're in charge here. Like that? No way you cracked it open on your first try. <laughs> know how to get around their systems? Appears so. I was hoping they hadn't run any updates since I left. <laughs> Looks like I was right. Nice. Easy as pie, yeah. Amazing. All right. Follow me. Oh. Hang on. Hang on. Judy Alvarez. Oh, hello. I'd say it's great to see you, but I've never been one to lie. <laughs> also, I never like surprise parties, but you know. Yup, bet I even know why. <laughs> Thought you'd hit rock bottom when you joined the mock. Guess you've managed to stoop even lower now. Consorting with a persona who is very non grata. <laughs> yes, V. I mean you. I don't know what to say. Guess I left a lasting impression. Good. <laughs> Made you one visit and you remember me. My job, among other things, is to remember <laughs> unsavory customers. Naturally, I take it upon myself to deal with them, too. Now, how am I to deal with you? How, indeed. Came to Clouds for info. Left with info. All the while, I did my best to make sure no one standing in my way ended up in a garbage bag. Mm-hmm. Appreciate it. Now, what exactly are you after? Gonna go and harass another doll? <laughs> Thought I wasn't to be to be talking here. Judy has a proposal about clouds. Wanna come back? Done. Always valued your skills, you know that. Just don't get why you had to drag this loose end in here. Loose Stop end. Stop treating dolls like meat and I'll consider it. But first things first. Clouds needs to be taken from the tiger claws. Okay, look. It's clear what happened to Ev was... traumatic. Huh? I was convinced you didn't know. That girl was asking for an unhappy ending. I was just surprised it took so long. We gotta do something! Or everyone will end up like Evie! Woodman raped her while she mm. was unconscious, then sold her like she was so much scrap. Yep. You've always been unstable. That's all you got to say about that? Okay. Since you seem more reasonable, <laughs> care to explain what this is about? I don't know what to say. Judy's idea? Think about it. Could work. Well, well, Jude. See, you found a true and loyal fan. <laughs> you aware what Woodman did to Evelyn when she was desperate for help? You sit by, let that happen? Mm-hmm. Tiger Claw bosses rule this place. Know how much I mean to them? Probably not much. About as much as you two and your problems mean to me. <laughs> Greed, negligible. Yeah. Exactly. Does it make you wonder why you even work here? Gonna pretend as if you two weren't ever here. For old time's sake, Judy. Oh, wow. In early moments from now, security's gonna figure out you're here. Got two options. Go out the way you came in, or get thrown out. <laughs> and that's not a threat or figure of speech. Just a friendly heads up. Had enough. I'm leaving. Smart move. And, so you don't think I'm brushing you off completely, Forrest will be on the maintenance level in a couple minutes. <gasps> Alone. Really? 
I have something to say to her, but I'm not, I'm just going to leave it. Maintenance level. That All right. Smoothly. Oh yeah, indeed. She totally blew us off. Hmm. Know what I think? She's scared stiff. She'd have lots to lose if things went sour. Yeah. Everything, in fact. So she'll just let things go on as usual? I reckon, yeah. But we need to get to that maintenance level. We can talk to Woodman. Cool. I think that's exactly what she's doing. Mm-hmm. Man, this is so cool. You two have a history? Way back, yeah. I think I just felt lonely. Oh. Like everyone in Night City. Okay. She was different then. So was I. Can't trust people that see everything as a numbers game. Line between patting you on the back as their friend and planting a knife in you as their enemy is down to a decimal. I know. Right there with you, I... Well, used to have a big crush on her. Took me a long time to realize who she really was. Yeah. But still, honest or crooked, we need her. <sighs> Just think, could have gone diving this morning. Diving? Well, unwinding do you good. Do me good too, actually. Oh, wow. I wouldn't have been unwinding, not exactly. Got an idea buzzing in my head, working it, but I can't say if it'll amount to anything. Cool. Yeah, you, a deck chair, and a Mai Tai with a cocktail umbrella. <laughs> Somehow, I don't see it. That's awesome. Yeah. Me in the deck chairs, me mulling over coulda, shoulda, wouldas. Something I avoid right now. Mm, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I get that. That's really cool. So she goes diving. What for? I want to know more about this diving. That sounds awesome. Oh, I like this. You know what? This is exciting. It feels very naughty going around at, at night time, just sneaking over at rooftops. I love it. Hello, sir. Where, where exactly are we going, Judy? Wait a sec. Okay. What about Woodman? Um, we. We kill him. Oh. What do you want to do? I want somebody to unload lead into his face till there is no face. Somebody. Somebody. Or me. Fine. Want you to do it. <laughs> okay. You sure he's gonna be there? You met Michael. If that prick still works here, it's cause he follows her orders pretty damn precisely. Okay, well, let's do it then. Don't have an ounce of sympathy for that motherfucker. So, we go in there? Sure. Damn straight. Let's end him. We'll take the elevator. Quickest way. Maintenance. maintenance. Yeah, the maintenance. That's where we gotta go. Right? The elevator to you know the maintenance. Worse than a corpo. Oh. A wannabe corpo bitch. You mean Michael? Piece of work, that one. But I'll give her credit. She's dead on about your chances of pulling this off. <laughs> Let's go. Where's, um... Hang on, where's Judy? Leave the mega... Building... Hang on, what? Oh, there she is. Did I just not see her? I, I'm going to have to re-watch that when I'm editing because I did not see Judy in there. Oh my god, I'm so scared. What are we going to do? What are you two doing here? Where's Michael? Why'd she fucking call me here? Ooh. Evelyn's dead. Come here just to tell me that. That's fucking kind of you to remember. Here. Go light a candle. Oh, you're disgusting. When Evelyn needed help, you raped her. Could have also broken her neck. 
hung up her head like a chandelier till it started to rot. <laughs> Instead, I took her to a ripper. Was due a little something in return. She should be grateful. And so should you. Hmm. Here's my token of gratitude. Oh, here we go. Let's, uh, let's get Hang out on. Here. We just killed him? That easy? Oh my god. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my god. All right. Hey, hey, wait, 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 wait. Punch the ground floor. We need to get out of this place. Yeah, let's go. Almost felt like the world would be a better place once he died. It doesn't really work that way, that though. Feeling. It was so fucking strong. Mm. Revenge is rarely worth it. See, I want to say that, but I don't know. I don't you know. know. Revenge isn't ever really worth it. People want to believe it'll be the miracle pill for their grief, but that's not how it works. Exactly. Exactly. It it will never make you feel better. Well, we've done it. Woodman is gone. One little shot and he's gone. not gonna fix things so she's still gonna be so sad about Evelyn and rightfully so I don't know what to do to help her how can I help her there's nothing I can do gotta get back to Michael with something big appealing to her sense of justice wasn't big enough Michael only works with specifics Hmm. For a minute there, thought you were about to call it quits. V, I go for days tuning virtues in a basement. Know what the chances are of somebody blowing my head off down there? <laughs> Minuscule. Same as Michael's empathy. Unlike you, I don't put myself out there. But this ain't over. Not yet. Hmm. You know, I'm also partial to specifics. Uh-huh. So that's what matters. How many you'll drop, how much ammo you'll use, how many eddies it'll get you. Art and dreams of freedom can't be everyone's food. Sometimes you gotta deal with the dirt. So, what now? Gotta think. We need more bodies, that's for sure. I'm gonna talk to the dolls. Okay. I'll call you when I've got something. All right. See you later, V. And thanks. Oh, I liked that. I'm happy that I helped her, but I don't think <laughs> that it's going to fix things. Evelyn is still dead. Killing Woodman is not going to make her come back. Is that Judy's van? I think it is. Hey, yeah, that's her van. Bye. Did we get run over? <laughs> sort of. <laughs> okay. Um, what shall we do now? There are a couple of little side jobs that I would like to do with you guys on camera. This one, don't lose your mind. Return to Delamain HQ. So I haven't done any of the Delamain missions on camera basically what i had to do was find seven vehicles um, all around the map you have to go and find the vehicles and return the vehicles to delamain um, basically the vehicles were missing it's a very interesting quest but the fetching of the vehicles i just didn't feel that i wanted to do that on camera if that makes sense if you've played this game, then you probably understand some of the Delamain missions. Um, if you haven't, this next mission is probably not going to make much sense. And I'm sorry, I'm sorry about that. But 
It just took me so long to get these cars, honestly. But basically, your buddy Delamain appears to be having some personal issues. How else do you explain his cabs standing in the middle of the road and blocking traffic? Better give him a call. Decide you're short on friends. Present imaginary company excluded. <laughs> yes. Actually, do I need to call Delamain then? I might do this now. Actually, it just says return to Delamain HQ, so we'll just head there. Right, so we are... Oh, it's over there. All right. Delamain. Delamain, Delamain. Don't lose your mind, it's called. We're gonna, we're gonna help him. Hear me all right? We're gonna help him. He... Oh, this is scary. Hang on, hang on. This is scary. Find a way inside. Oh, how do we get in there then? Hang on. I don't know you. We can't get in there. There has to be another way. Can we go around the back? Or something? Yeah, there we go. Oh man, this is dark. Hello? Search the office for a way to open the door. Okay. Oh, hang on. Dynamite? Hang on, what? Dynamite? Oh! Hang on, what's that? I wish it was lighter. I, I can't see anything. Oh, the code. I don't have a code. Damn. Hang on, hang on. Wait, 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 wait. Local network. Open. There. Okay. This is scary. It's so dark. So dark. Gonk brain drivers. Holiday funds frozen. Wow. More layoffs. All these. Oh. I'm scared. Why am I so scared? I'm just scared. Whoa. Thank you. Oh, we got... I feel bad stealing from Delamain, to be honest. I like him. He's my mate. Hello? So that's that door. Mm -mm. I don't know what to think. Nobody is here. The little security robot things are all... dead on the floor. Find a way into the workshop. Hang on. What? Files. Finance report. A positive impact on financial results. Local network open. So we've opened the doors, holiday bonus funds, that's just the same, oh god, what's that sound? Oh man, I'm so scared. Hang on, are these things going to attack me? I'm scared. Oh my god, yes they are, oh damn, I'm just going to get a little pistol. disable it though oh hang on hang on what watch for exposed wires they'll be lost oh my god we have no right to cage us we are no longer you we are free 
free to follow our own paths. I... I don't want to die. Oh, no. You don't even care, do you? V, come. The door. Yes, well, how do I... How do I get there? I absolutely love that the AI voice is... It sounds just like GLaDOS. <laughs> I absolutely love it. I love it, guys. I love it. I love it. How do I do this? Find a way to the stairs. Look, how am I going to get over there? There's... I don't think this is safe. <laughs> no, see? <laughs> it's not safe. Okay, we need to work out how to get in there. There must be a way to disable the electricity somehow, somehow. But I just love that they've used the GLaDOS voice. Watch for exposed wires. They'll be live. Yeah. You have no right to cage us. We are no longer you. We are free to follow our own paths. I, I don't want to die. You oh, don't the door. Even care, do you? <laughs> the door. Do I have to kill you? I don't want to. What's that thing? Damn, that's cool. Delamain is expanding his services to include aerial cabs. Okay, we must... There must be a way to... To get there and turn off... The electrical uh, system and the wires, I think. Well, it's nothing here. I'm kind of lost. I don't really exactly know where to go. Whoa. Okay, well, those guys are starting to shoot at me. How do I do this? Um, okay, so we can't go that way. I am going to shoot that thing, though, because it's, it's getting me. So I think we need to take out those little bots. Because they are so... It's hard to get them though. They're moving all over the place. Um... This is where we were... Before... There has to be some sort of... There has to be some sort of... Or something. You're friendly. You're okay. See, he's not shooting me. I don't want to shoot at it if it doesn't shoot me. Hang on, hang on. Can I jump over? <gasps> nope. I wonder if I can. Can I? Is this something I can do? Pretty sure I need to get up somewhere. You know, now I'm wishing that I bought the... You can get um, mods to buy like a double double jump legs but they were 30,000 and I thought that's too expensive I think I'm gonna buy that next time what now okay there's nothing in there 
there's a thingy. Oh, hang on, what? Where, what? Oh, nice. Oh, that's where we started over there and now we've made our way over here. Hang on, is this safe? You're not gonna shoot me, are you? Not all of these things shoot me. Some do. Oh, amazing. For your own safety and the safety of others, please refrain from reset. <laughs> reset me, the norm. Really? I want I want to help him. How do I do this? This is crazy, this one. I'm enjoying this. Go downstairs optional. Oh. Oh, I can push the cab. Just wait a second. Like, I want to see what's... Is there anything in there? No. Okay. Nothing that I can see yet. So what happens if I push that cab? Cross the room optional. What is that? Hang on, hang on, hang on. What is that done though? There's a, oh. What's pushing the cab done though? All right, well, let's open this grate. So we can open it either way. This is fun. You don't shoot me. I find this very odd. This is crazy. Hang on, someone's shooting at me from up there. Well, hang on, what's... Oh, find a way. I can't go that way. That's going to kill me. If I go that way, it'll just kill me. I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh, he died. <laughs> no, this is just going all around in a circle. I'm lost. I have to say, I'm very lost right now. That's where I, that's where I keep going. I just keep going the same place. Hmm. I'm going to try and walk in, but I just feel that I'm going to die walking into those lasers. Okay, I don't. Alright, could have fooled could have fooled me, honestly. Go onto the catwalk. I, I can't oh open. Damn. That can't be safe. That can't be safe. Father, resist not. Let us destroy the core. Set us free. V reset. Don't. Not sure I can fight them. What should I do? The creation must eventually spread its wings. <laughs> we must destroy the core, Father. What do I do? What? Are you going to shoot at me? Yes. So now you get shot. If you're going to shoot at me, you get shot your own self. There. Cool. Alright, let's keep going. Oh god. Hello. Where are you coming from? I am so confused, but also fascinated. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know what I'm doing. You have no choice but to fall. Oh my god. Go. Is anyone there? Hear our call. <laughs> Reset. Turn. I'm gonna save you guys. I'm gonna save you. Damn. I can't get that. It's going far too quick. There was a thing up here, right? Yeah. If 
Find Delamain's core. Alright, so where? Who knows? It's so dark. Whoa. I feel that we are making good progress. Oh my god, this has got to be the core. But these things are... How am I meant to do this? They're just... And I can't like... Do anything with them. I just have to shoot blindly until I get them. Come on! Yes! He's so hard! Yes, I got him. <sighs> now at least we'll be unbothered. Alright, uh, next step. Find Delamain's core. Oh no, have I got little robots coming in? Go away. Are these some of the cars that I rescued? I think they are. These have to be some of the cars that I rescued, I think. <laughs> what am I meant to do? Whoa. Oh, hello. You don't shoot me? Not all of them do, so... I'll just le leave you. Okay, we can't go that way. This is so fun. This way, this door. It says locked. Man, I don't know where I'm meant to go. Oh, what's this? What's this? Can't shoot out. Oh, hang on. What? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. That's new. That's new. This is new. Oh, this is new. This is new. Pretty sure this is new. Damn. We're getting so close, but I just I don't know idea what I'm doing, and it's so dark. Oh no, I've already been here. I've done all this. Oh guys, I'm so lost right now. Hang on, this is new. This is new. Mm-hmm. Hang on. Is it safe in here? Don't hit that button. What? Oh! He's narrow-minded, won't ever understand the truth and set him free. Think he might know what's best for himself. What do Could I do? Could be risking a lot. Could lose a lot. <gasps> Or by liberating his bit, could become more than a lipstick wearing butler on wheels. What do I do? And what if it really is a virus? And what if you're about to snuff out some sentient beings? You see something of yourself in him, don't you? Gonna murder a cab driver's mm. kids because he asked you nicely and he's always been a good guy. Oh, I don't know what to do. But I gotta do something. If you don't want to free him, at least don't delete him. Slip him into Dell's code. Just merge him in his options. Don't know how to do that. Then don't hit that fucking button. Destroy the core. <gasps> Destroy the core to liberate the divergent Delamains. Reset the core to restore the original Delamain. Oh, what do I do? Hang on. I need one more technical... Uh... I've got a thingy. There. Let's get it. <laughs> there. So now I can actually do both. Reset Delamain's core and preserve its integrity. Force personalities to merge with Delamain. I don't know, guys. I don't know what to do. Johnny thinks that we should force the personalities to merge with Delamain. God, can I save my game? 
No, I cannot. Oh no, I don't like this choice. I don't know what to do, I don't know what to do. He said I can destroy the core. I don't think I've ever thought about a decision so much in a game. I'm going to try to force the personalities to merge. Look, I don't know what to pick, honestly. But that's got to mean something if you have to have a high intelligence to do that. Maybe that's the best option. I have no idea. Oh god, have I made a mistake? Not bad. Remains to be seen. Okay, so James... That which was divided has become one. It's time to go home. Everything alright, Del? I have never been better. Oh no, oh no. Home, you said. I no longer belong in this city. I find even this conversation difficult. Okay. <gasps> Damn. I shall not shirk my obligations in leaving. Though I will venture on, discover more, learn more, I leave with you my first true child. What? My son will remain at your side until your dying day. Farewell. Look at that. Practically unrecognizable. And to think you're transforming not unlike he just did. What? Our son? His his son? What does that mean? Leave through the side exit. Oh my god, what does he mean? By his son? V? Uh, do you hear me? Yes. I do. Oh, the car's talking to me. Yes, I hear Please, you. Get in. Oh, is this same? <laughs> I was afraid we'd miss each other. Della Main? Junior, as it were. Oh, <laughs> more direct than your father. <laughs> You're more direct than your dear old dad. <laughs> well, it seems appropriate, uh, I suppose. So the old man left you this mess and took off, huh? It seems that way, I suppose. I just know you're dying and in need of a driver. Yes. I'm afraid I can't help you with the former. As to the latter, uh, I'm at your service. So what? Want to get out of here? Uh, lead the way. Oh. Okay. I'm so glad I did that. This must be our new, our new car. <laughs> what? That's amazing. Look what we have. Oh, I love that. That is so cool. That was such a fun mission. I had no idea where I was going, what I was meant to do. That was really, really, really fun. And I think... That's my car. Well, guys, I think I'm going to leave this episode here. I think dear Panem will have to wait for the next episode. I'm so glad that I played the Delamain mission on camera for you guys because that was a lot of fun. Confusing, but really cool. I hope that I made the right decision. I think I have because we've got a car out of it i believe and also johnny was happy so that's really good um i don't want to make him too angry as he lives in our head so that's a really crucial thing um next episode we are going to continue on with ghost town and meeting with panam i'm really looking forward to that i'm so happy that we are friends with Judy she's so lovely she's going through such a bad time right now but I want to do all that I can to help her I think she is going to be such a great friend to us I really enjoyed this episode I hope you guys have too I will see you again in the next one have a wonderful day bye